Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 4th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, becoming a little bit more active with those bright incoming sunspot regions, as well plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere, Keeping an eye on as they come in an earth-facing position, looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have an active sunspot there on the right-hand side, which produced a C-class solar flare today. No CME detected. And then look at the left side there, large plasma filament lifting from the surface. Looking at outgoing here, earth to scale as well. Just amazing how big our sun is. And amazing imagery coming here from Solar Dynamics Observatory. I want to give a big shout out and a happy Independence Day to all my American viewers. Thank you all so much for the love and support with this channel. And as well, God bless. Looking closer at those sunspot regions now. Right there. C-class solar flare. As well, a diminishing coronal hole. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see just a wave moving across the surface in the equatorial region, closing up on that coronal hole. And here we are able to see the regions that are a sunspot incoming. When you see that blue and the red, And as well, another region coming in. So definitely keeping an eye on our sun over the next couple days as we have some activity turning into an earth-facing position. Stay aware and prepared. Having a look at LASCO 2 showing the energy taking off from our sun. And as I said, nothing was in an earth-facing position, so nothing thwarted our way. But we are right now experiencing a geomagnetic storm. Solar X-ray flux is up into the C range now. And as well, geomagnetic activity was up into K5, KP5 overnight. And we were expecting all of this geomagnetic instability. Solar winds are sitting at 442 kilometers per second. And we have an aurora possibility. Probability here is pretty good tonight and into tomorrow. So not only will you have fireworks tonight, but in the northern United States and Canada, you'll see the amazing northern lights. Thanks to that CME that was shot out our way a couple days ago. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing no new space weather events coming our way. But this here, yellow yellow circle, that is us, that is Earth, and we are now experiencing the solar weather. Schumann residence for today, a blackout, a power of 10. Quality of 6.6, .6, power of 5, amplitude of 10. Now let's get to earthquakes here as we have a situation developing in India. That's right, India plate. Last week, it was the Arabian plate, but now the Indian plate into the Burma micro plate. We had a sizable 5.0 earthquake, Port Blair, India, and it continued all day long. Look at all these earthquakes throughout the day, looking at about 20 earthquakes in the region. Got to wonder what's going on there. It is in the open sea. 4.6 here is Xinjiang, China. 4.5, Babar, Indonesia. And our deepest earthquake today, a 5.2, Wallace and Fortuna. Fortuna, 425 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.6 here reported Wanaka, New Zealand. Pretty rare earthquake here, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 5.0. And as well, a 5.0 here, West Chile Rise today. So earthquakes have increased since yesterday. We're sitting up over 230 earthquakes across the USGS. Quiet still through the Caribbean 
plate and as well North America. Seeing some increased seismicity here, a 3.9 Hawaii firm forest and as well increased seismicity up into Alaska where 5.3 rang out early, early this morning at St. George, Alaska and it did prompt out a tsunami watch but not a warning. 5.0 here reported as well, Port Allsworth, Alaska. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Biggest event is all of the earthquakes in India, Port Blair. Looking at the last seven days for seismicity across the world. Quite a swarm to the Indian plate. The Burma microplate. Got massive flooding through coastal regions in that region as the monsoon rains have been pounding Myanmar. And pretty quiet across the North American plate. So heads up. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here with Semeru in Indonesia, Nevada's de Ruiz, Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Shivalich, Russia, Fuego, Guatemala. A lot of flood alerts across all continents right now. Ebico in Russia, Reventador in Ecuador, Luatolo, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Bezimieni, Russia, Popopkerito in Mexico, and Decono in Indonesia, which released quite an SO2 and ash cloud over the past 48 hours. Looking at satellite imagery, we do have one tropical storm to talk about in the Pacific, and that is Tropical Storm Bonnie, or Hurricane Bonnie who is just scathing the southern edges of Mexico and is set to head west-northwest into the East Pacific Ocean. As well, we've got flood alerts all across the east coast of Australia right now from New South Wales southward into Sydney, Flood watches. We've got a tropical depression heading towards Japan right now. Airy. And they're saying here from three months ago we've had floods, but there are new floods today and reports coming out of Sydney as the rivers have been swelling, pounded by coastal rains and high waves. Looking at the rest of the world, extreme heat through parts of Europe. Czech Republic, as well as Estonia. And no tropical systems developing in the Atlantic right now, thank God. Now let's have a look at Venture Sky for the weather forecast for the next little bit. We do have a system heading into Ontario tonight. Should bring some thunderstorms tomorrow and rain, but then drying out again. Long-range forecast showing this system slowly moving eastward Tuesday into Wednesday. And then another low developing in Alberta. So we've got west coast rain, pretty dry through central, <clears throat> excuse me, and also eastern regions, Canada, the United States. Watch for thunderstorm conditions here develop for northeastern parts. Wednesday into Thursday, and as well central regions. Some pretty extreme weather could be developing here for Chicago for Thursday, Friday. So heads up, my American friends, and again, happy Independence Day. Tropical Storm Bonnie set to head out into the Pacific. Daily evaporation rains through northern parts of South America. And again, no major Tropical systems developing in the Atlantic. Nothing major to report except for the large system through parts of Chile. Overlooking Africa, central regions, daily evaporation rains. Could be, could see some potential heavy downpours through central regions in Nigeria. Also a potential low pressure system here racing across South Africa. 
overlooking Europe. Got a couple low pressure systems, one up in Norway, but nothing major to report. Southeast Asia, rain, thunderstorms, heavy rain, torrential downpours still continuing over the next few days. Doesn't look like it's going to let up for a while. So heads up, Myanmar and up into India, you got a devastating situation developing. Overlooking Australia for the next few days. As you can see, system there just east coast of Sydney. And then by Thursday, it's going to be heading down into New Zealand. Pretty strong system at that. So heads up, New Zealand. And that is a look at our weather, world weather. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. This has been Mike with The Daily Do, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.